Hey so guys, welcome to 415 Radio Style. I think, that I, ha I think that I haven't been doing videos for a really long time, I know, and we haven't uploaded since like a month or two, yeah. So, anyway, today, so, so, just so that you know, guys, I'm no longer gonna be doing any more how to do basic stuff videos, but we're still gonna continue doing the radio videos, and now I'm gonna, now I'm gonna begin reviewing a brand new thing, which is phones. So, yeah. Because well, I don't really like phones for some reason, especially iPhones. Eh? Today I'm gonna be unboxing the original iPhone. So let's get started. So right here, this is the original iPhone. This is actually the original. Th this one is actually the four gigabyte version. Now the cool thing about the four gigabyte original iPhone is that it it didn't last very long with Steve Jobs first announced did it he said that he announced two versions an eight gigabyte version and a four gigabyte version which is this one right here now the thing is that the, i do have an eight gigabyte version but i don't really feel like that yet right now so yeah so here's the four gigabyte version now this one is pretty cool the thing is here's the box so we're gonna be unboxing it today now you guys might already know this like this phone is has doesn't look sealed now yes it's not sealed this phone has been activated and used well, that's because i'm not going to spend eighteen thousand dollars on a brand new never opened before iphone like i like look at this guys this is how much an original brand new iphone costs look at that i wasn't about we weren't about to spend at least eighteen thousand dollars on that right there. We weren't about to do that. And the thing is, we neither weren't about. The thing is that this was also this one was a little bit more cheaper, but still very expensive, four thousand five hundred dollars. So I did a little bit of I pulled. So well, me and my dad pulled a few strings and and did a few things in. I got this right here. So the thing is that. This iPhone, as you can see, you can already mostly tell that it's the original because that's the old SMS text thing right there. Now, the thing is, this is because this original iPhone, it's not just the 4 gigabyte version that was, well, I think it's that the original iPhone again was announced on June 20, on June 2007 and then was discontinued later. On um, and then the four gigabyte version was discontinued on September two thousand and seven. It was discontinued two months later, making the making the four gigabyte version really rare. And then in February of two thousand and eight, they announced. I think it was on February of two thousand and eight. They announced the brand new sixteen gigabyte version. So yeah, I think it was on February. Or something. Yeah, I don't know. But yeah. And and the 16 gigabyte version actually had a small iTunes application here or there. I don't know where, but yeah. So any, so any. Uh, let, let me just unbox. Let me drop the pencil and get that. Okay, good. Okay, so let's unbox this. Unboxing this iPhone. So yeah. So the thing is that I really do like the. Am I gonna keep on dropping the pencil? Oh. Well, like I guess I lost the pencil then. So, oh there it is. So yeah. Okay now, nah. okay that pencil better not fall out. So I have to get some tape. Duct tape to the excess. So yeah. Anyway, we're gonna be opening this up now. Here's the back, and as you can see, the AT&T logo is down there. And that's because, back then, AT&T was the only carrier that could provide the, the carrier, the, the iPhone 1. So, yeah. Now, this is the iPhone 2G, 4 gigabyte. And the thing is that this one is also, the one inside this box is also running iOS 1.0, or 1.0, whatever you want to call it. It's running the original iOS firmware which is pretty cool actually so yeah now let's so yeah anyway this iphone is pretty cool so yeah i think it's the back here tells you one cool thing is that as soon as well back then we used to 
buy this phone and open it up for the first time, it will actually show you a screen that will say, on top of here that will say, activate iPhone, connect to iTunes, and then it will show like the planet Earth there. So yeah, so I think it's that. Because I don't have a charging cable right here, actually. Actually, I, I, I don't know why. Whatever. So, anyway, we yeah, I do have the original charge. Okay, so anyway, let, let's just open this up. I think it's that the box is very big. Oh, yeah, here we go. And there it is. Now, again, guys, this phone is has been unwrapped, activated, and used. So yeah, did, because I, again, I wasn't going to spend that much money on a brand new original iPhone. So here it is. Perfect condition. It's in, in mint condition. Just as she was scuffing things back there. But yeah. There it is. Let's see. I'll focus. There we go. If you can see, if you look closely, it's hard to see, but yeah, I don't, it's kind of blurry. Can't focus, but yeah, because that says four gigabytes right there. Uh, so, yeah, this would be a pretty cool phone, actually. Yeah, it's pretty cool phone. So, yeah, wait, hold on a second. I just do one more thing. Okay. Okay, now I'm not turning it on, but yeah. And there it is. So, now let's power it on. This is how it looks like. You power the, the phone on there. Just the Apple logo, and as soon as it boots on, it's gonna go into the home screen. Into the lock screen, and no, it's gonna go directly into the home screen. Now, the thing is that back then you could actually set a passcode on this iPhone, but no face ID, no touch ID, like on my iPhone today. And here it is. That, that, that's the phone right there. So I'm sorry about the background noise, but yeah. Yeah, right there you can change, you can actually take, change the lock screen background but when there's such a lock if you have a passcode then for you to enter your four digit passcode then will lock into the screen but yeah because that you couldn't change this wallpaper the background right here you can only change the the lock screen so yeah so the thing is that though so the thing is that it's actually a pretty cool phone so yeah and there so those are the only 16 apps that you had on iOS 1.0 because that if I go over here into settings, general, about, there, there's the firmware, iOS 1.0, that is the original iOS, the thing is that that is actually pretty cool, how I got, because that this phone, when I bought it, when we bought it for $300 off eBay, it actually, it actually was running, yeah, $300 for this, it, it costs, uh, I think it's that, Okay, it actually it was running iOS 3.1.3 and we got it and we got iOS 1.0 and started, which is pretty cool. So yeah, I think it's that right there as you can see it says no service even though there is an AT&T SIM card there. That's because AT&T no longer provides service for these phones. And yeah, I think it's that. Yeah, so the thing is that you cannot even swipe left or right. You cannot move apps around. You cannot even delete the... You couldn't even delete the simplest apps, uh, like apps that you can now delete today on your iPhone, like because that you can actually go ahead and delete the calculator app on this iPhone. It doesn't let you do that. Well, those are the only apps that will come with back in the day. So yeah. Well, anyway, I'm gonna set the phone aside, and I'll f and I'll be come back to that later. So first, this is the little insert here with the phone going. Supposed to go right there. Think of that. This is a really solid thick piece of plastic. Look at that. See, look at that. Very, very thick piece of plastic and very solid. This right here. This is your regular documentation and paper. So not really regular. And yep. And I'll show you what's in the bottom in a second. After I open up this. So in here, back then the original iPhone would include this little tiny cloth. With the, with the iPhone logo embossed it on the bottom, so let's see. Think is that think is that this iPhone, th this instruction and manual. Th no, think is that this little documentation thing does come with it. Think is that you did not get a SIM card too back then. A little SIM card thingy back then. So yeah, so let's open it up. 
Look at this. I'm moving it. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah. There it is. iPhone. That. This is like the most amazing thing ever. Like when I saw it. Saw this, I was like, <laughs> so yeah, there it is. I just see I have iPhone in Boston. Now, this is actually a pretty cool product. Thing is that you cannot really find this on eBay too much commonly. So yeah, I just got to put the phone on the actually thing is that we have a little towel right here. Yeah, there it is. And the thing is that you also got this the fingertips pamphlet board brochure, whatever you like to call it. Now, this is a really long. Before right here, look at how long that is. That was everything that an original iOS 1.0 iPhone could do back in the day. It could do all of that right there. I like to you guys can can pause the video and read it, even though the, I'm recording this on day. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, that is that. That was everything I could do. You got from an iPhone today. You can do a whole bunch of things. So many that the, the instructions don't even include it. Oh, look at that. Okay, and if you like to, you guys can pause and read something. That's why I'm moving this slowly. Yeah. Because the, this, these phones, again, I just showed you how expensive a 4 gigabyte iPhone is. The same thing goes for the 8 gigabyte version. So, yeah. Here's the little, this is actually just some important product information and a whole bunch, and a ton of copyright information. Yeah, at the end, I just show you a whole bunch of copyright information, which I don't really feel like showing that to you guys, because it's just copyright information, but no one really cares about it. Now, the Apple stickers, the back then, they were placed straight like they are today. Back then, they were placed kind of like this uh, slashy thing. Yep, so I'm going to put everything back in. Again, you did not get a SIM card tool back then, no. Because I had to use, like, a paper clip or buy your own. And, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I use something. So, yeah. so I put this aside as well. And I'm sorry, you guys. I think it's that not everyone knows this, but back then the original iPhone would come with a dock. And that's pretty amazing. I think it is that. And this is actually pretty, pretty cool. So yeah, there it is. Now I can place it on there. Yep. Because I even think it's that. It doesn't, because that back here you can also plug in your speaker or headphones or, because I can also charge the phone from there. And down here, I think it's that those little speaker holes, and those little holes right there, so the match up with the speaker holes on the phone itself, so the sound could come out of here. That's actually pretty cool, how Apple actually added that to their phone. I think it's that, it, it was actually pretty, pretty cool. Let's see, yeah. Because that, let's look at the charging breaker right here charging cable which has been unwrapped and used by when i had made it some little plastic and rewrapped it because this thing gets kind of low and all over the place and this has now this is original and has never been unwrapped these are the apple headphones now these i think is that um, now these aren't real these are mostly for like an iphone 3g or 3gs because back then the original iphone this little head, this that little piece will be like shrunk, like shrunken down a little bit, not like that tall. Right? This little white piece used to be a little more shorter and thicker. So yeah, thing is that these are from Apple. These are the original Apple headphones. These have never been unwrapped, and I'm not gonna wrap these at all because well, these because these are in perfect condition. I do not want to ruin their value. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna put everything back in the box, but everything in down here has been wrapped and used, except the headphones. And that is actually pretty cool to know that the headphones will never use that. Okay, I'm gonna put everything back in that enormous thick piece, thick piece of plastic. So yeah, and now let's move on to the phone. I'm gonna put this on both sides. So, here it is. So... Okay, slide to unlock. And there it is. That was those were all the sixteen apps that you get. You couldn't you didn't have app store, you didn't have iTunes all you had right there is that right there, iPod. That is where all your music that you downloaded from iTunes were appears. Then that you had to actually sync by music off iTunes and then sync into this iPhone. Yeah, that's what you had to do back then. You had SM and SMS texting. The thing is that you kind of like flip it like this. No, no. This is iOS 1.0. The thing is that this would iOS 1.0 was extremely 
that was was quite basic actually. It, you couldn't swipe, you couldn't, you couldn't delete apps. And here's the camera. The thing is that all you could do is take a picture. You, you couldn't zoom in, you did a picture, I don't know, none of that. All you could, you couldn't, you, all you could, all you could do, like for example, you're like, all you could do is snap a picture. That's it. You didn't have front facing camera. This is just a camera app. This is a basic camera. It's a basic camera. Then you could go, then you could go down here, tap on this camera wall. And there it is. There was the picture. That's it. And but thing is that you could send it, delete it. Then thing, thing is that thing is that now when you want a picture, this time you could zoom in. And guess what? And that was actually revolutionary back in two thousand seven. Like back then, people were like, "Why wow, you can zoom into the photos? It, it's the future!" But today's like, you know, zoom in and it's just regular. No, no, no revolution. No. You know, you know, I know what's revolutionary? The camera can be removed and then have them some wings and can fly around and you can take pictures. And the camera's a drone, yeah. That's, that is revolutionary today. But back then, like zooming in today is not revolutionary. It's just normal and basic. But back then, people were like, you can zoom in? What? Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, it, think of how, yeah. Yeah, think of that, that's how you can do. That yeah, and that's it. You think it's that and here here. The thing is that then you can also go to photos, create your own album. Yeah, this was just a camera, no front facing camera. All you could do, and the camera, snap a picture, and then go ahead, view and zoom in, send it or or delete it if you if you if you don't if you don't like it. I know how to say don't buy myself. Yeah. So yeah. Anyway. YouTube no longer sadly works. This YouTube is really old. You see, yes, I will tell you that I cannot connect to YouTube. It's been 17 minutes. And yep, so. Well, the thing is that another thing is that you couldn't have several apps open at the same time. Like, for example, I could go to settings, scroll down, and turn to general. And for example, like Bluetooth, and then I could exit, and then I exit out. I had to go. Like, and I want to copy something, I have to go back here into SMS or something. Like, someone told me how to, like, use Bluetooth, and then I had to go back. And think as I look, it would reset the entire app, and you had to go back. And yeah, think as that was, yeah, think as that then, about then you will forget what you were doing. It, it was just a whole point. That was because this iPhone only had enough RAM to have an app open. To only have one app open at the time, thing is that you couldn't have two apps or more. There was only enough RAM to keep one app on it. Thing is that every time you enter into, like, for example, settings, when here into general, like, or whatever, thing is that then exit it, you enter back in, it will have to reload. Thing is that this phone, thing is that every time, thing is that something about the RAM thing is that it didn't have enough RAM to keep your app open while you exit it thing is that as soon as you exit it it will kill whatever was within that app and reset it back and then you had to enter again it was very annoying so yeah thing is that that's something that a lot of people hated and yeah thing is that you also have the calendar yeah thing is that you can actually set reminders and a few reminders and stuff and there it is. So I think it's that. You also down here have notes. You also have maps. So maps back then this uh, was an mm, app. Back then this this was an Apple Maps. This was Google Maps. It was actually you. This was actually back. This iPhone was back then using Google Maps. Today uh, Apple has their own map called Apple Maps because uh, because now now uh, Google because it, Google owns Android and. Uh, Android and Apple are good, are really good friends. So, so yeah, Apple, thing is that Apple was like, get out of your Google, and then they had to create their own map. So yeah, I think that I do prefer Google Maps way more than Apple Maps. It's actually better, way more faster, and yeah, I think it's that it's actually a little bit more friendly and stuff. Yeah, and the thing is that that's it. And here and here, 
interesting thing is that this was the weather right here. Because I'll show you right there. And there. I'll show you the, the your location, and then I will show you what will be on Sunday, and Saturday, and everything. And that's mostly it. No air quality. It won't show you the air quality or nothing. Yeah, New York, you can actually put different zones on there. You couldn't really like track the location wrong. That was it. That that was all that the weather could do. It could it. Well, then today I will show you the location and the weather and what the weather would be. Will be and what the weather is at that time and the temperature. That's it. That is it. Nothing else. Yeah. Here's the calculator. The calculator is actually pretty boring. Think of say you couldn't like this was actually a basic calculator. When you put it like this, it wouldn't like so go ahead and throw a bunch of more things there. No, it just stayed like this. It was just a bit. This calculator was for basic, really, really basic math. It was all for division, multiplication. Adding and subtracting, that's it. Because, like, for example, like if I put 47 plus 5, which of course is 52, and I exited the, this calculator with, like, for example, like 4 plus 4, then there's that, I got 8, but then there's that this calculator was so simple and basic that when I exited out and entered back in, look at that. It still had the 8 there. It would still show you the answer. That's how basic this calculator was. The thing is that you couldn't really get that much on here, but yeah. It had the clock too. I hear you could set the alarms and stuff. The thing is that, let me remove that alarm just to show you something real quickly. It had the world clock right there. And we all had an alarm, a stopwatch, which is cool. And a timer. Yeah, I think that was mostly it. I think that I couldn't really say anything for that time. It's just a regular clock. For example, like here is how the alarm will sound. Okay, see, look at that. That's how the keyboard sounds. See? I think that this is how it will sound. This is, I think that's it. See? You just have to wait. No, 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 no. And there it goes. That's how it used to sound. You hit snooze or swipe to stop the alarm. Because that, wait, when it got a call, it would also go, it, that's the sound I want to make. It hit snooze. I had to unlock and then I would snooze the alarm. And yeah. Wait. Because now that the alarm has been deleted, the snoozer is gone. Bye bye. So yeah. And down here, time to move down. So we have phone. Or you can make calls. Hello! Like, now all I could do, and like here we have favorites, you could set your favorite, have recents, which would show you your recent calls. Because I'm not gonna show them to you because, well, those numbers are real numbers. And because they have contacts right there again, I'm not gonna show the phone number up here. And you have keypad, I think it's that right? You could dial them. Yeah, you can just go ahead. Got a number. Alright then, like that. By the way, do not call that number. It's not a real number. It doesn't even exist. If you try calling that number, you're gonna get into it. Why? Because I just made up that number. No exist. So yeah. That's just a fake phone number that I made up. So yeah, I think it's that. I just go into a random phone number. Yeah, again, again that phone number doesn't exist. I hit call. Well, I think it's of course called mail because they really, really. Yeah, and down here you got your voicemail, the voicemail. Oh, <laughs> what did it? Okay, so, okay, so yeah, that's all you got. And the thing is that this, you also got iPod down here. Now, I think is that again, you guys already know, I you have to get your music from a computer from iTunes. Safari, right here, it was Safari 2G. 2G only. 2G. You only got 2G networks. That's it. 2G. This thing is that. And the brand new iPhone 12. 5G. Can't you believe that? 5G. 2G all the way to 5G. That was actually pretty cool. Yeah. It's pretty cool. The thing is that the keyboard also sounds pretty nice. Like. Look, look at that. Mix like this. Cool clicking noise. There, there's Google. Yep. And there's Google, yep. There's Google. So, yeah. 
And now the cool thing about this uh, thing is that, so yeah, I think I said, oh yeah, we also have notes. All you could do is write notes. Oh, that, 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 that was the only thing you could do, just write notes. No pictures, no files, no this, no that, no nothing, no, just notes. There. Like this, yeah, because I also like how the keyboard sounds, look at that. See, look at that. It, it actually sounds pretty nice. Right there, there, see? That's how the letters come out. Those are nice. I think it's actually like the crazy sound that we it's, it's, This This video has been going on for at least 25 minutes. It, and this video is going to be half an hour. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, I think that this was a pretty cool phone, actually. I think that back then, this phone was extremely cool and amazing. People, if I brought this to, brought this to school, people, and the kids will be like, Oh my god, you got the brand new iPhone! Why? You're so cool. But today, he, everyone was like, Why do you have that iPhone so old? What is wrong with you? Yeah, because what? Well, who cares this phone anymore? So yeah, here we are. There's the 2 megapixel camera, which it's actually not really like, like separately mounted on the notes. It's mounted right into the back. Here's the top. Then there's the same card slot. The thing is that that same card slot was enormous. Compared to the same card. The uh, same card from today, it's enormous because they also had the power button up there and the headphone jack. Now, here we go with the headphone jack. The headphone jack was actually a kind of was actually kind of like pushed into there, like kind of buried. Because the thing is, the Apple they don't want you to use any kind of headphones, they only wanted you to use the one that came inside the box. See, I think it's that what they did was Apple made a small hole in there, placed the headphone jack in there, and pushed the alert back like. It, that was pretty annoying, couldn't it? But when the iPhone 3G came out, I think it's that the headphone jack was mounted right in, right there. So I think it's that it wasn't pushed into there or anything. No, you can use any headphone, any type of headphones that you want it. I think it's that this black part right here, this is actually the antenna band. And the thing is that down here, you have the 30 pin connector. It's two speaker holes, like I just mentioned. Yeah. Another speaker right here and the home button. I think it's that you could need a cutting double tap but to like for like apps or anything. But yeah, I think it's that another revolutionary thing that was known as revolutionary back in 2007 was multi touch because that you didn't need a stylus or anything. That was actually pretty great. But today, multi touch, it, it, it's nothing. Back then, people were like multi touch, oh my god, that's amazing. But today, people were like. A multi touch. It's just touch screen, not the note. Stylus, who uses stylus? Multi touch, no, no multi touch. If I don't. So, yeah. Yeah, that's how people react today. But map back the multi touch, revolutionary. So, yeah. I think it's that this phone is actually pretty amazing. But the thing is that this phone, one day, it, it's gonna be worth a lot of money. I think it's that. Look at this. You can even. Right here. This is and thing is that that's because this is the original iPhone, f which is rare, four gigabyte, even rare with iOS 1.0. The original iOS right there, iOS one, even more rare yet. So yeah, so I think is that this is a pretty amazing phone. Thing is that I'm surprised that I was able to get this phone. That okay, this phone has been used and activated. This box, by the way, is not the original. This box. And back then, when you bought this 4 gigabyte iPhone, it would come in a box like this, but this is not the original box. That's because when I bought this iPhone for $300, all so it came was with the phone itself. It came with a small rubber case uh, that the owner probably bought. It came with the original headphones, it came with the charging cable, and the dock. Yeah, the, I think it's that we had to buy the box separately, and think it's that this is the only original 4 gigabyte iPhone box available on eBay. It cost us at least two hundred two hundred dollars, around two hundred fifty dollars. Yeah, it was really expensive. Not not cheap, not cheap, no expensive. Yeah, so this is not the original box. It, it this iPhone did come in a box like this one, but it but the thing is that the model number, the serial number, are the same. Now the thing is that this iPhone again when we bought it, it it came with iOS 3.1.3, but the thing is that what I did was I downgraded it to iOS 1.0, which is actually pretty cool. The thing is that 
is that only certain original iPhones can run iOS 1.0. All four gigabyte iPhones can get 100% run iOS 1.0. So if let you get, you know, go buy an original four gigabyte iPhone and then if it's not running iOS 1.0, so go ahead and downgrade it. I think it's that I might show you in another video how to downgrade an iPhone to iOS 1.0 and it was not easy. This one downgrade this it was not easy and then that's when i found out i was doing something wrong and then it, now i was able to think it's a then i tried again after many times and then the last time i tried it i found out it was like crazy i got i also put no activated all you need to do is download like a downgrading kit then go ahead and restore the iphone back to ios 1.0 and think it's that then you have to then we'll bring it to the activation screen that you have to activate the phone through this thing called z iphone or I literally take a step to take a step. I actually activated the phone to do this application called Z iPhone. So yeah, I think that was pretty cool. So the thing is that anyway. So that's mostly it. So thing is that yeah, think is that this phone one day could be worth millions of dollars, maybe even billions by its condition. This phone is in perfectly mint condition. And think of that, I don't know what else to say. That I this iPhone I really love it. Think of that I'm trying to take as much care I'm trying to take good care of it to prevent any damage to it or anything. So well guys anyway, that's the end of the video. This is a this video was at least half an hour long. So anyway guys, so make sure to like, subscribe, and you but yeah, you better subscribe or else I'm gonna go to your house and eat all your cookies. And and also if you like to share this video too. So anyway guys, that's the end of the video. So anyway, I'm out of here. Yeet.